yeah, people were going crazy uh, last weekend on the Bitcoin subreddit because uh, Ghash IO got to 47% and was hovering in the mid 40s for a while. People were uh, trying to convince other miners to move to P2 pool, uh, get off Ghash IO for fear of a 51% attack. And then just yesterday, Ghash IO even put out um, a press release on Reddit basically explaining their case. Uh, talking about how they would never execute a 51% attack. They're implementing um, measures to prevent themselves from ever reaching 50%. And um, they also listed a bunch of things uh, that they're planning for the Bitcoin community, new features they're going to implement. So basically, they're, they're making the argument like, why would we want to hurt Bitcoin when we have so much invested in it and we, we want to see it succeed? Right. So... I mean, I don't, I don't really know what to think of this exactly. Um, I did an analytical article earlier in the week about uh, what Gavin Andreessen and Andreas Antonopoulos think about this issue. They're not really concerned about it at all because they say that even if a 51% attack did happen, um, the network would respond almost immediately and get everything back to normal within two blocks, basically. So this attacker would theoretically be able to hijack one or two blocks, uh, commit a double spend, and then the rest of the network would react and, and kick them out of the network. So, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of controversy. A lot of people think that it will be pretty bad. Um, I came to the conclusion in my article that if it, if it did happen, it does make sense that it, it wouldn't kill Bitcoin. People would react and adapt. But... I think it would undoubtedly have a negative impact on the price, a negative impact on the perception of Bitcoin in the public. So all all of that is is bad stuff enough. We don't want this to happen, obviously, but mm -hmm. it's a, it's a huge matter of um, of contention exactly how damaging it would be. Yeah, and um, that's that's why I think that uh, the fear of it has had a, a substantial effect on the price because. Well, I, I noticed that um, the price actually started started falling uh, uh, like a few like within the same time period that the whole scare about the fifty one uh, percent hashing uh, power uh, came to surface on Reddit, um, and so I really think that a lot of people are are uh, are cashing out because of that because they're predicting uh, the failure of Bitcoin because mm -hmm. the, around uh, Ghash. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely, I mean, I I noticed there's a, the Bitcoin subreddit gets pretty hysterical sometimes. Let's put that yeah. out there, okay? <laughs> they, they can get pretty emotional sometimes, especially when the price has been going up a lot recently and they want it to keep going up or the price has been going down a lot recently and, you know, it's, it's just crazy. People are invested emotionally in their money. So, yeah, there's a lot of people um, out there who are terrified of a 51% attack. They're terrified that it could ac actually kill Bitcoin, That's that it's, a, that it's a fundamental flaw in the protocol. Um, you know, maybe they're right, maybe they're not. But in the, in, in the short term, they're having an impact by selling their coins. You know, some of them are. So that's, that's definitely a part of the recent drop. 